Hey guys, this video is for my friend Elizabeth Hand because she was asking the other day what to do with some chicken that she had, rotisserie chicken. Today I was feeling less Peruvian, less Hispanic and 100% American. So I decided to have the feel of a good pub bar food like fries, fried chicken, buffalo sauce. And we're making today some buffalo cheesy fries. So I hope you like it. You can make it with rotisserie chicken. You can also make it with chicken tenders that everybody has at home. So that is what we're gonna eat tonight. So, you know, I love food and I love to share my love for it. So here we go. Okay guys, so here I go with the ingredients. We have any fry that you like, anything that you use at home that your kids like, it's perfect. It could be the crinkle cut, any other fry, frozen fry that you like. I like the new Idaho ones. They have, they're crispier without having to do much to them and your chicken nuggets. Now, I like chicken tenders, and I like this Tyson Southern Chicken Breast Tenderloins. Surprisingly, these chicken tenders are less breaded. They have a lighter breading than the rest because everything in the South is lighter. So anyway, uh, believe me, trust me on this one. They don't have as a thick um, flour batter like some of the other tenders have. They're actually, a little lighter, it's not that much of a crust on top. So that's what I believe, so that's what I'm going for. <laughs> so let me be in my denial. <laughs> anyway, here are my chickens, and I'm gonna put them in the oven, make sure that they're crispy and everything is ready. And soon enough, you're gonna have a delicious meal. Give me a second. Here's the other very important ingredients. First, the cheese. I'm gonna use a mixture of cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese. Now, why mozzarella? Because mozzarella gives it that stringy, delicious, milkier taste. I don't know if you know this, but on the other cheeses, the ones that come shredded, they put an anti-caking agent on them so that the, the cheese won't stick together. So to me, it's, this is a little more real, a little more healthier even for you, tastes better. And now that we're all quarantined, why not just shred your own cheese? So depends on how much your family likes cheese, you're gonna know about how much cheese you're gonna use. This is already shredded, I just finished. So this is gonna be for, of course, more than five people. My family is a four, but we always make extra for the next day lunch in case they really like it. The other important part of this dinner is the delicious um, buffalo sauce. This is our favorite at Sweet Baby Ray's. You find it in every place, in every restaurant, not restaurant, in every supermarket. And what's the trick to it? You have to add butter. Butter is what's gonna make it silky, and it's the way the buffalo sauce are made. I know this one says here, buffalo wing sauce already made, but that's not true. This is what you need. Just have a stick of butter, and you can add whatever or as much as you want of the buffalo sauce. Now, you can also have Valentina sauce on top of it if you want. You can have any other, let me find this one, any other hot sauce that you like. Of course, you can add that to it if that's what you want, but you have to have a good, good, or your favorite buffalo sauce with half stick of butter. So, I'm gonna start making the, uh, the sauce. First, I'm gonna put the butter in. Right, just like that. Have a stick of butter is good enough. And you're gonna start moving it around, making sure it's cooked and melted. And right here is where you're gonna decide for your family or for yourself. How much of the hot sauce do you need? Well, you need as much as you can handle. Uh, the juicier, the creamier, the more than you put in it, it's gonna be saucier. And once you put it in the oven, it's going to melt with the cheese. Um, so, it depends on what your family likes. My family loves spicy. They can handle every heat from Nicholas all the way to Sean. I believe it or not, I'm the weakest of my family. So I am gonna add what I know they will eat, which is about right there. Uh, and that's something you kind of have to handle, or I'm sorry, you have to measure for yourselves. How much is enough? for your family. Now, yes, you can put a little less. You can use the ones that don't have any spice in it. You can really 
put as many or as little as you want in here. So while this is getting melted, I'm gonna move it to the side for you to see that my chicken is ready and I'm about to cut it so that I can add it to my concoction. So my chicken is right here. I want you to see it came straight from the oven and it's looking pretty awesome. And I'm just gonna grab my knife and I'm gonna cut it in small chunks. Not too big, not too little, just enough bite size because all of this is gonna go on top of the fries. Now you're probably wondering, how is this Hispanic quail or Peruvian? Well, you probably know that potatoes are not from Ireland. Potatoes are from the Andes of Peru. So there you go. This is Peruvian, guys. So you're gonna love this, I know, because this is as American as it gets, and you're honoring, of course, Idaho potatoes, but in the end, they're Peruvian. So I feel very, very glad and honor anybody when anybody makes a Peruvian or a potato dish, of course. So I got all my chicken cut. I'm gonna mix it with the sauce. I'm gonna see you in a minute. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna put in my melting pot of sauce. Look how delicious it looks. So I'm gonna put my chicken ghost in the pot. Everything is hot, hot, hot. Hopefully none of these chicken will fly off, right? Everything is hot enough, yeah? And I'm just gonna coat this. Mm -hmm. it's so good. All right, I'm gonna coat it. Oops, two flyers went away. So I'm gonna coat this with all of this sauce to make it this like a buffalo nuggets. I mean, it's just like buffalo wild wings, but at home. So now that everything is gonna be like this, I'm gonna grab a plate. I'm gonna show you while this gets all happy in the pan. I'm gonna grab a plate. I'm gonna put some fries on the bottom that I have magically right here. And you're gonna just put as many or as little as you want, right? Look at my fries right there, they're crispy and good. Now I'm gonna top this off with the chicken, then with the cheese, then goes in the broiler. Okay guys, so here's where you kinda have to move a little faster. You have the plate with the fries, as many as you want. You're gonna start putting on top all these goodness chicken, look at it. Just as many pieces as you want or as your family could eat, right? Have to divide these evenly. And once you have them like this, you're gonna add the, che the cheese. I'm gonna show you here is my cheese. You're gonna add the cheese. Como es mucho, mucho queso. See, mucho queso. And I'm gonna put this in the oven. In a few minutes, I'm gonna show you the final product and how I'm gonna top these off. Okay guys, so here's the finished product. Look at this delicious plate, it's hot. Anyway, how am I gonna top this off? You can use some scallions that you're just gonna give them a, a chop. Scallions or even, um, we call this cebolla china, Chinese onions, which I'm sure you don't call it like that, tail onions. You're just gonna chop it, rough chop it, or as good or as thick as you like them, and you're just gonna sprinkle them on top of your dish, right? You can also do jalapenos that I like to roast in the oven together with the chicken. So you can just chop, rough chop again, roasted jalapenos and put them on top if you want to. And that will give it a little kick as well. Look at this dish, of course, of course. Your favorite blue cheese, your favorite ranch. I'm gonna put this on the side right here because this is my plate because you know, when I make something, I gotta taste it. And then the healthy part of this dish, the carrots and the celery. So you're gonna just dip your carrot, your delicious crunchy carrot, but bam, here I go guys. Here is, you take a piece of chicken. Of course, you're not gonna eat with your fingers. You're gonna eat with a fork, but see, you're top better. But here it is, the sauce. And look at the cheese. See, that's the mozzarella in it. Of course, you can top this with vegetarian. If you wanna make a vegetarian, you can top it with cauliflower, not, not necessarily with chicken. As long as you follow this, you're going to have a delicious, like if you were sitting at Buffalo Wild Wings, an amazing dinner, quick, easy, everybody loves it. Perfect. 
Perfect.